Hey, good morning, Cam. Um, hope you and the family are doing well, and I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, just finished day four, because I'm going to do the seven-day uh, split, um, the second leg day. Um, felt really good um, at the very beginning of the workout, um, then towards the middle and the end of the workout, my right hip just got really tight um, I try to um, avoid doing exercises that might irritate it but it didn't seem to really work um, I know I did the Bulgarian splits um, it, it was fine the first couple sets and then like I said um, before like towards excuse me the, towards the end of the those sets it, it was just getting tight. It wasn't hurting me. It was just getting tight and um, just more irritating. Um, so I did as much as I could without, um, you know, being stupid and killing myself. Um, that's why for the leg press, I only did four sets versus um, the sumo deadlift. Um, I did try to see how that was, but when I... Um, uh, reached at the top of the deadlifts, same thing. So um, I don't really know what to do with um, with certain exercises with my right hip. Um, I mean, I didn't change really much of anything in terms of like my my stretching routine. Um, like I really do focus on you know resistant bands that really do target my hip, um, like the resistant fire hydrants. I love. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if it's probably in, a, probably in my best interest to maybe have, like, one day where I come in and not necessarily do, like, a workout, but it's just more hip flexor kind of focus, um, just, you know, really stretching it out, um, I know there's, like, exercises I can do just to help strengthen it, so, I mean, I don't know if that's really gonna help anything, because I think it's... I, I feel like the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz, like I just need oil, I need to put a little oil on it, otherwise, you know, it gets stiff, um, so, I don't know what you, what your thoughts are on that, but, um, I think, I think it might help me in the long run, um, but otherwise, um, I felt really good, um, I felt a really good pump at the very beginning, um, I've been watching a lot of Sam Solik videos, um, I, I just love the way he thinks and, you know, explains why he does some of the things that he does, um, and one of the things I took away from him was, um, at the very beginning of the workout I did leg extensions and I superset that with, uh, sissy squats and my legs were killing me, um, so that's when I really got that pump, um, so I felt really good. And I actually enjoyed it. Uh, my legs kind of exploded, and it was nice to see. But um, and I think that kind of carried over um, into my tiredness and you know my hip uh, discomfort. So, uh, but I wouldn't trade it. <laughs> um, but otherwise, um, the workout was good. Um, I think one thing that I'm really starting to enjoy as well is. Um, like I said, I think a couple of videos ago, I started switching up my, um, supplement intake. So I start, I started taking my, um, amino acids after my workout versus during. Um, and I've noticed a, a, a huge difference in, you know, how I, f how I felt on um, the day after workouts. Um, so like e the other workout, uh, the last workout, which was the back and shoulders, um, I, the, the following day, my lats were really killing me, which is fine. Uh, usually, like, my entire back would be sore. Um, so I've noticed some big difference with uh, taking my uh, amino acids after my uh, workout. So I'm going to continue sticking with that uh, routine. Um, nutrition, I think I've been fine. Um, same same thing um, as, as we last discussed. Some days, like, I wake up just, like, starving and then other days like I, I just don't really feel like eating um and like this morning like the past couple days like I just really haven't felt 
hungry. Um, I felt more nauseous. I mean, like right now, like I feel nauseous, and the only thing I have in my system right now, is probably the reason why I'm, I'm feeling like this, is I just had two Rice Krispies uh, prior, just as a little pre-workout uh, um, meal, and they're like the small ones. Um, so I, I think that's probably why I feel the way I do. But um, yeah, so I, I mean, I'm gonna continue to obviously. Uh, do what I can with the macros um, every morning um, but like you know as I said like earlier on in the program like once I have something in my system then yeah like I'll start feeling the need to like eat and start feeling um, a little bit more hungry um, but I feel like otherwise um, everything else has been good um, I think there was one day where I didn't put my macros in um, I would have definitely um, my, my macros for that day, I just fell asleep, I think it was that Friday, um, where I forgot to put them in, um, I was just, I got home pretty late and just went straight to bed, so, um, otherwise, I think, I think everything else is going good, um, I don't really have any questions at the time, um, yeah, that's all I have right now. Um, but if I do have any questions, I will definitely um, hit you up. But thank you for your time. Thank you for all that you have done. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon.